if you if you think you might wear it you don't don't bring it hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video I am coming at you with another travel video um, I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks that I wish I kind of knew the first time I went to Europe uh, and this doesn't necessarily have to be geared towards Europe it's just travel in general just how things I've learned over the years but I'm more so focusing on my Europe experience and when I go in the future so let's get into the video Europe was just an experience there's so many things I learned um, things I wish I knew that I would do next time that I go first hack I would recommend if you're going to go travel for Europe um, and a little bit of background story my family and I went um, to Europe for two weeks last summer um, we went to like a ton of different countries and it was the most incredible experience it literally honestly travel just kind of changed travel travel in general just my heart for travel and just my experience with travel just changed I think right after like um towards the end of 2020 once like tickets started to go on sale like for super cheap i think i went to california round trip for 75 dollars it was crazy and i think when kenny and i went to the dominican republic in 2021 it, i was like wow we can really do this so i ended up just traveling a whole ton i went on solo trips um and it's just and then going to Europe just really stepped it up a little bit more. I'm like, wow, we can really do it and do it on a good, um, one, not spend a whole ton of money because traveling really isn't that expensive, especially if you plan ahead of time, which leads me into my first travel hack and that's plan ahead. Researching your, um, researching tours that they may be having on, um, and then also reserving any kind of restaurants that you're gonna be going to. I know a lot of um, really cool places are really popular, especially with TikTok going on if you find something on TikTok, more, TikTok more than likely it's a very popular place um, and it's really good so you have to make reservations and things ahead of time um, something that I have learned the hard way a few times um, so definitely make reservations ahead of time and then also it's just if you kind of know have somewhat of an idea of what you're going to be doing um, you're not like wasting time when you get there and you're not like scrambling um, I don't, I definitely, um, my mom and I plan all of our family trips and we have like a notes, um, in the notes app, we have everything from every day and just kind of have like a general idea of like things to do, um, places to eat and it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to hit all those places, but just like have a general idea of what we're going to be doing. Um, definitely don't stress about it. I know like our first time around, uh, I was really stressed about knowing exactly what we're going to be doing, um, the whole time, but I think it's also... Like the fun of it is having an adventure and like figuring out what you want to do so don't stress about it but also just kind of like don't not stress about it because you don't want to get there and just be like what am i doing so definitely research the places ahead of time and kind of have like a general idea of what you're going to be doing um the next one is get your tickets as early as possible so i kind of touched on it on the first um hack or first tip and if you're going to be doing things that is popular again like say you're going to paris and going to the eiffel tower or if you're going to Lisbon and you're going to go to the Belém Tower or going to Sintra or whatever, um, I would recommend, um, it's also recommended by the people as well. I um, mean, a lot of other people I've, I've seen on TikTok or whatever. Um, so buy the tickets ahead of time because a lot of them sell out pretty quickly. And then also you don't want to be waiting in a line for a long time uh trying to get tickets and stuff um so definitely get your tickets ahead of time and then a lot of the time if you do reserve it online earlier it's actually cheaper than buying it the day of so um i think i also when i was in spain i learned that the hard way because they sold out of tickets um at the la sangrada familia and we couldn't go on the day that we wanted to go because they had no more tickets so definitely definitely plan ahead of time next um if you are going to europe i recommend flying out of new york city if you just so want to do like a don't want to do like split up flights which i've kind of i've gotten to the point in my life where i really don't like to do um layovers but you can make a day trip out of it but i would recommend flying into new york doing a one-way ticket to new york from wherever you live because it's cheaper actually um we ended up getting one-way tickets to spain from new york city for like 300 400 bucks um last year when we went and then obviously flying from new york from i flew from savannah my family flew out of atlanta um or kenny and i flew out of savannah and it was like 50 bucks 75 bucks to, to fly out of there rather than fly out of savannah and it'd be like a thousand dollars you know so 
Um, that's a hack that I figured out pretty early on in the game um, last year and my family and I ended up making a whole day trip out of it. Um, and then we just flew overnight, which is awesome. Um, we ended up just sleeping on the plane. We got the rest that we needed, dinner, whatever, and then we woke up in Spain. So um, it's a lot cheaper um, to fly to Europe from New York City, I have, I have found. Um, using Expedia, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Expedia. I have just used Expedia for years. And the point system with Expedia, it's actually changed recently, but I have had a great experience with it. Um, I ended up, Kitty and I ended up going on our anniversary, our one year wedding anniversary last year to Boston. Um, and we did like a little day trip or a weekend trip or whatever, completely free, like the hotel, we didn't have to pay for it um, because I had a bunch of points and we did like a two night stay there and it was awesome. Oh, the sun's coming out. Um, so that's cool. I recommend using any kind of travel app that has points so that like later on you can keep traveling and take money off of that. So, um, and it just kind of helps you stay a little bit more organized too. Um, do not, don't overpack. I, um, and pack minimally. I have, I pride myself on being the expert minimalist packer. Um, I have had to learn over the years, you cannot pack your whole entire closet, especially when you're going on a long haul trip. You want to, you have to carry that and then, Luckily, I'm in the military, so I get uh, two free check-in bags uh, domestically or if I'm on orders internationally or if it's like an American kind of like airline, not American Airlines specifically, but an American airline, I can, you know, travel. I don't have to worry about the weight or anything, but when you're overseas, as far as I know, if you're not on orders, like you have to pay for it. So we had to pay for a few things because we went overweight and luckily it wasn't too much, but like I'm not used to doing that. So... What I'm trying to say is you don't need to take your entire closet. If you if you think you might wear it, you don't. Don't bring it. Um, I have started a new thing where I have like a whole PowerPoint looking situation where I take pictures of every single outfit that I'm gonna wear and I put it there. I'm wearing this on this day, I'm wearing this on this day, and wearing that on that day, and I do not bring anything else. Um, I started bringing, uh, I started everything that I bring is travel size that's um, not necessarily makeup. This is, I'm surprisingly my makeup bag is down here. If it doesn't fit in here, I'm not I'm not bringing it. Makeup. This is all the makeup I need. So I'm gonna um, actually be bringing this on my next trip. Um, or I brought on my last trip. I did like a weekend trip to Disney World. This is all you need. Um, and it goes in my suitcase. Um, travel toiletries. You know, it just it makes so every weight counts. All the weight counts. Um, so that I can go shopping and bring cool things back home with me. Um, so on my next trip, I have like a, a thing going on with myself <laughs> that I'm going to try and only pack on one side of the suitcase so that I can bring more things home with me. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, if you, if you think you're going to wear it, don't. Don't bring it. You're not going to wear it. Because I have literally brought things um, and I just, I didn't end up wearing it. So pack for that day pack an outfit for that day and don't bring anything else because it's not worth it um next packing cubes so kind of um piggybacking off of what i was just saying packing cubes i got these off of amazon my amazon storefront will be linked um but packing cubes i've literally packed a bunch of things in this one thing or enough for the whole trip and just fit it in my backpack and that was my i just bought a carry-on for a backpack so many times um but for a suitcase wise like this this is good this is this is good it, it keeps you it keeps you um accountable like if it doesn't fit in here we're not bringing it i'm not bringing it don't bring it um and it's just it's just awesome packing cubes really changed the game i know a lot it's like really dramatic to say but it fits a lot of things in there um, and then like I said if, if it doesn't fit I'm not bringing it I'm not gonna bring it um, so and it just keeps everything nice and compact and organized and great so packing cubes are awesome for suitcases and also carry-ons another one is to get a wallet that carries everything so I bought a wallet the last time it carries my passport my credit cards um, and all of my money and everything and it's all in one I don't have to like rummage around for my passport or anything it's all in one thing and also with um my money and stuff it's just all in one nice compact area um organization make the most out of your time and research earlier i kind of hit on that i don't know why i put that twice but definitely important and then 
but also I forgot to show you guys this um, there are a lot of pit pocketers in Europe not just Europe in general but not in Europe only but I, I feel like it's in Europe real bad um, pickpocketing so I have recently just bought these little purses or whatever you want to call them and you can just do this little number and everything is right in front of you um, it's super compact but it also has a lot of different compartments and everything I'll link it down below one is to boost your immune system there is nothing worse than getting to a vacation and getting sick it happened to me it's happened to me and it sucks so drink your green tea, drink your tea or whatever, and then also take vitamin C. I actually have some over there. Um, I use this Nature Made vitamin C. This is a thousand milligrams. Obviously consult with your doctor. I don't recommend taking anything from someone you see on the internet, but um, I use a lot of different things uh, that I take every day supplement wise, not just vitamin C, but vitamin C is also a really good thing um, to take to help boost your immune system. Um, I also emergencies out there. There's different, there, there's different things, um, but might want to do that um bring sanitizer i always fill up a bottle full of pure alcohol rubbing alcohol not drinking alcohol um and i will put it in a spray bottle and take it with me everywhere just to make sure my hands are clean i have been sick actually i actually got sick last year i'll, I'll admit when i went to europe I, did, I just didn't prepare as well as i should have um so hopefully this time around this will help me out <laughs> So boost your immune system um, I would say the start like the week prior to you leaving and then also bring a water bottle for us Americans we we're spoiled okay we like our AC we like our cold water I like cold water in, in general in Europe I don't know what it is I know there's probably some reason I've done a little bit of research on it they don't believe in AC okay they, they don't they, they don't like at all I have walked in the mall, I have walked into stores, shoe stores, and no AC. None in the dead heat of summer, like 100 degree weather. No AC, or if there is on, sun on, some on it, if there is AC on, it ain't running a lot. They ain't running it, they're not. Um, they don't believe in ice water. Um, bring, you, bring you a water bottle. Um, the water that, um, they have like different like water station things. I don't really know how to describe it, but they've got water fountains and stuff that you can just like put your water in and drink it. Cause honey, you're gonna be thirsty. I, it's not just me. There's other Americans who have said that they, the first thing they ask for is water and like people start laughing at them cause they know we, we thirsty. But anyway, that is all to the video. Um, I just want to share a few hacks and tips and tricks that will help me on the way um when i went to europe and hopefully in the future when i go back I can't, i'm excited for our next adventure um whenever that is and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye guys.